Marrakesh Safi earthquake in the 8th of September 2023 earthquake with a moment magnitude of 6.8 to 6. Nine and maximum Mercalli intensity of eight severe struck Morocco's Marrakesh Safi region. The earthquake's epicenter was located 73 for kilometers 45. Six miles southwest of Marrakesh, near the town of Isle in the Atlas Mountains. It occurred as a result of shallow oblique thrust faulting beneath the mountain range. At least two 120 to deaths were reported, with most occurring outside Marrakesh. Damage was widespread, and historic landmarks in Marrakesh were destroyed. The earthquake was also felt in Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, Mauritania, and Algeria. It remains the strongest instrumentally recorded earthquake in Morocco and deadliest in the country since 1960. It is also the second deadliest earthquake of 2023 after the Turkey-Syria earthquake. The World Health Organization estimated about 300. Zero people from Marrakesh and the surrounding areas were affected. Following the earthquake, many countries offered humanitarian assistance. Morocco also announced a three-day period of national mourning. Tectonic setting Morocco lies close to the boundary between the African plate and the Eurasian plate the Azores-Gibraltar transform fault. This zone of right lateral strike slip becomes transpressional at its eastern end, with the development of large thrust faults. To the east of the Strait of Gibraltar in the Alboran Sea, the boundary becomes collisional in type. Most of the seismicity in Morocco is related to movement on that plate boundary with the greatest seismic hazard in the north of the country close to the boundary. In 2004, al Hosima was struck by a magnitude 6-3 earthquake that killed 628 people and left 926 injured. A magnitude 7-3 earthquake affecting neighboring Algeria in 1980 killed two, 500 people. The Atlas Mountains are an intercontinental mountain belt that extends 2,000 kilometers one, 200 miles from Morocco to Tunisia. These mountains formed from a collision during the Cenozoic. The mountain range reaches its highest elevation to the west in Morocco. Seismicity in Morocco is concentrated in the country's northern region and the Alboran Sea. South of the Rif, seismic activity is sparse but spread across the Middle Atlas, High Atlas, and Anti Atlas. Seismicity in the Saharan Atlas is limited, and absent in the Saharan region south of the belt, it is also less active eastwards. In Algeria and Tunisia, previously, the largest earthquake recorded in the Atlas Mountains was the Mu W5. Nine earthquake that struck Agadir in 1960. Earthquakes in the Atlas Mountains display focal mechanisms of strike slip, thrust, or a combination of both oblique slip. Earthquake of Marrakesh Safi earthquake is the largest instrumentally recorded in Morocco's modern history, surpassed only by upper estimates of the 1755 Mackens earthquake at MW6. Five to seven, zero. It occurred at 26.0 kilometers 16, two miles depth, and had a magnitude of MWW6. Eight, according to the United States Geological Survey USGS. While Morocco's seismic agency reported a focal depth of 8 kilometers 5, 0 miles and a magnitude of 7.2, the Global Centroid Moment Tensor GCMT reported a magnitude of MW. June 9th, according to the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, it was also felt in Portugal, Spain. Mauritania, Algeria, Western Sahara, and along the coast of the Strait of Gibraltar. 
The tremors were detected by monitoring stations as far away as Egypt. Witnesses said the shaking lasted for about 20 seconds, a magnitude 4. Nine aftershock occurred 19 minutes after the main shock. The earthquake had a focal mechanism indicating oblique thrust faulting beneath the high atlas. The rupture occurred on a steep dipping oblique reverse fault striking northwest, or a shallow dipping oblique reverse fault striking east. The USGS estimated the fault rupture area to be 30 kilometers 19 miles by 20 kilometers 12 miles. Many east-west and northeast-southwest strike slip and thrust faults occur in the high atlas. Since 1900, there has not been a MUW6, zero or larger earthquake within 500 kilometers 310 miles of the recent earthquake's epicenter, but 9MW5, zero and larger events have occurred to its east. A finite fault model by the USGS indicates rupture occurred on an east-northeast-west-southwest striking, north-northwest dipping thrust fault. Slip was concentrated around the hypocenter within a circular slip patch. On the fault measuring about 30 kilometers 19 miles 30 kilometers 19 miles, a maximum displacement of 1. 7 meters 5 feet 7 in was observed at 20 to 25 kilometers 12 to 16 miles depth while most of the slip occurred at 1035 km 6 to 221 7 miles depth there was little to no slip close to the surface above 10 kilometers 6 to miles Earthquake of Marrakesh Safi earthquake is the largest instrumentally recorded in Morocco's modern history, surpassed only by upper estimates of the 1755 Mekins earthquake at MW6. 5 to 7, 0. It occurred at 26.0 kilometers 16, 2 miles depth, and had a magnitude of MWW6. 8. According to the United States Geological Survey USGS, while Morocco's seismic agency reported a focal depth of 8 kilometers 5, 0 miles and a magnitude of 7.2, the Global Centroid Moment Tensor GCMT reported a magnitude of MW. June 9th, according to the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, it was also felt in Portugal, Spain. Mauritania, Algeria, Western Sahara, and along the coast of the Strait of Gibraltar. The tremors were detected by monitoring stations as far away as Egypt. Witnesses said the shaking lasted for about 20 seconds, a magnitude 4. Nine aftershock occurred 19 minutes after the main shock. The earthquake had a focal mechanism indicating oblique thrust faulting beneath the high atlas. The rupture occurred on a steep dipping oblique reverse fault striking northwest, or a shallow dipping oblique reverse fault striking east. The USGS estimated the fault rupture area to be 30 kilometers 19 miles by 20 kilometers 12 miles. Many east-west and northeast-southwest strike slip and thrust faults occur in the high atlas. Since 1900, there has not been a MUW6, zero or larger earthquake within 500 kilometers 310 miles of the recent earthquake's epicenter, but 9MW5, zero and larger events have occurred to its east. A finite fault model by the USGS indicates rupture occurred on an east-northeast-west-southwest striking. North-northwest dipping thrust fault. Slip was concentrated around the hypocenter within a circular slip patch. On the fault measuring about 30 kilometers 19 miles 30 kilometers 19 miles. A maximum displacement of 1. 7 meters 5 feet 7 in was observed at 20 to 25 kilometers 12 to 16 miles depth while most of the slip occurred at 1035 K 
KM6 to 221. Seven miles depth, there was little to no slip close to the surface above 10 kilometers, six to miles. Impact at least two, 120 to people were killed and two, for 121 were injured one. For 104 of the injured were critically hurt. Many fatalities occurred in remote locations south of Marrakesh. In Al Hayus and Tarud provinces, the death toll stood at 1, 351, and 492, respectively. 41 people died in Warzazate, 201 in Chichawa, and 17 deaths were recorded in Marrakesh. For French nationals were among the fatalities, including a tourist who died of a cardiac arrest. Fifteen French nationals and some Americans were injured. In Moulay Brahim, residents became trapped under collapsed buildings and volunteers made rescue attempts. Over a dozen fatalities occurred in the village. Economic losses from the earthquake could reach up to 8% of Morocco's GDP. According to the USGS, some homes in older parts of Marrakesh and portions of the city walls collapsed, leaving families trapped beneath debris. At Gemma Elfna, a minaret of the Karbash Mosque and parts of its walls collapsed, crushing vehicles below. The Kutubia Mosque was also damaged. Several buildings in the Medina of Marrakesh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site dating from the 12th century, also collapsed. Internet access was disrupted due to power cuts. The historic 12th century Tinmal Mosque was extensively destroyed. A tower partially collapsed and walls fell. The Interior Ministry said the majority of damage occurred away from cities and towns, near the epicenter of the High Atlas. Public television channel Al Aula reported many buildings collapsed. Entire villages near the epicenter were leveled at the earthquake's epicenter in the town of Al Hayus. A collapsed house trapped its residents under rubble. At Amizmis, a village near the epicenter, rescuers used their hands to sort through debris. Twenty firefighters and soldiers attended to the remains of a house they also recovered, at least to bodies. Nearly all of the 50 traditional houses in the village of Majit were destroyed and dozens of its inhabitants were killed. 90% of houses in Asni were destroyed. Additional homes in towns near the epicenter collapsed partly or completely. Electricity and roads were also cut in some areas. In Asaura, parts of facades fell off. The towns of Tafgat Adasil and Imlil, as well as nearby villages surrounding Mount Tugal were destroyed or severely damaged by the earthquake, with an estimated 200 homes destroyed in Iyukik alone. Outside Agadir, in the villages of Taki and Tadrart, many homes were destroyed. In the city of Tarudent, almost 200 people were killed. Several old or historic districts in the city were badly damaged. 90-90 people, or about half of the village's population, were killed in Tafigat. Isolated villages in the Wirgain Valley still had no electrical and telecommunication services two days after the earthquake. Aftermath people in Marrakesh removed rubble by hand while awaiting heavy equipment. Many residents remained outdoors for fear of another earthquake. Posts on social media showed people evacuating a shopping center, restaurants, and apartment buildings. Residents of the city spent the first two nights outdoors filling up roundabouts, car parks, and a public square. Some businesses in the city reopened on the 10th of September as King Mohammed, Six recommended commercial operations to continue. In the capital Rabbit, 350 kilometers to 120 miles north of the epicenter and at Swain, a coastal town, residents left their homes. The general secretary of the Directorate General, 
of Internal Affairs said officials and security teams were assembling resources to supply aid and assess damage. In Zail, trucks carried blankets, camp beds, and lighting devices to the affected areas. Semi-trailers also carried supplies to reach these areas. Local Channel 2M shared videos of emergency vehicles traveling along a dirt road. Rescue missions were disrupted, as the roads through the mountainous region were congested with vehicles and fallen rocks. In Al Hayes province, rocks were removed from roads to enable ambulances and aid to reach the affected areas. A highway in the Atlas Mountains congested with ambulances, taxis, and Red Cross members was used to treat the injured. The severely wounded were transported to a hospital in Marrakesh. In remote areas that were difficult to access, the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces used helicopters to supply basic needs. There was a surge in wounded people admitted to hospitals in Marrakesh. Injured people from outside Marrakesh also began to trickle into the city to get treatment. An appeal was made to the city's residents for blood donations. In the morning of the 9th of September, roughly 200 people, including tourists, visited a hospital to donate blood. Among those who donated were the Moroccan national football team. The initiative amassed six OO bags of blood within a day of the campaign launch. Damage assessments in Marrakesh revealed most of the city was relatively undamaged. King Mohammed VI authorized the deployment of the Royal Moroccan Army in various affected cities. In order to help, he also declared three days of national mourning and ordered the creation of a relief commission to provide survivors with aid and the opening of special bank accounts to allow donations. The army later set up a field hospital in Malay Brahim. Rescue personnel used heavy equipment to recover survivors and bodies from debris. Survivors from the village began digging graves on a hill to bury the dead. A large tent was set up in the village to house the homeless. Operations at Marrakesh Airport remained normal, but two Ryanair flights from Marrakesh to Brussels and Beauvais. France that were scheduled for the 9th of September were canceled. British Airways replaced its regular aircraft to Marrakesh with a larger one to carry British nationals requesting repatriation. The Red Cross announced the recovery could take years several villages near the epicenter. In the remote mountainous region were completely flattened and or inaccessible, with a paucity of infrastructure such railways, roads, and hospitals visivis the north of the country hampering relief efforts. Reaction Spain, India, Algeria, Argentina, France, Iran, Portugal, Pakistan, Romania, Taiwan, Thailand, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, the European Union, and the United Nations offered to provide assistance and support to Morocco. The Netherlands released 10 million euros in emergency aid. Other world leaders offered condolences. Saudi Arabia operated an air bridge to provide aid. The delay of 18 hours for the king to make an official announcement received criticism socially. There was also criticism on the government's delay in making official request for assistance and that more external aid was not allowed. The Moroccan government did not formally ask for foreign assistance, however. They accepted aid from for countries Qatar, Spain, United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. Officials said they have only approved the offer of four countries because a lack of coordination could be counterproductive. They added that other offers may be approved when there is a need. Ben Opayan, the mayor of Marrakesh's sister city Marseille, France announced that he was sending firefighters to Morocco to help with rescue operations.
The president of the regional council of LD France, Valérie Pécresse, sent $535,000 in aid. The French embassy in Morocco, FR, opened a crisis unit hotline. A rescue crew was sent from Nice, while communities across the country offered more than 2 million euros to dollars, 1 million in aid. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and King Abdullah II of Jordan ordered their governments to send aid to Morocco, while the United Arab Emirates' President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayon ordered the establishment of an air bridge to transport relief aid and other support. Algeria, for the first time since 2021, opened its airspace to Morocco to facilitate the arrival of humanitarian aid. The following day, Algeria proposed an 80-member specialized civil protection intervention team. Spain placed its military emergencies unit, its other aid agencies, and its embassy in Rabat at Morocco's disposal. A Spanish Air Force aircraft carrying 86 soldiers and eight search dogs was flown to Marrakesh after the Moroccan government made a bilateral appeal.